Good evening, good evening. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Good, hello. good evening. Good evening. Okay. Are you ready? Más o menos. Let us wait a little bit for the rest, okay, Veronica? Yes. Good evening, Veronica. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, welcome. Daniel, good to see you. Good evening. Good evening. On time, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, how's everything, Daniel? What? How is everything? How are you doing? Ah, uh, my day. Uh, my day very well. Very okay. well. And before the class, I want I see the video un poquito. Okay. No lo terminé de ver, pero no, it's all right. Uh, I mean, that video, you can see it later, okay? You can, the, actually, the idea is for you to have it in the WhatsApp group and see whenever you want it, okay? <laughs> now, I can see Oscar over here. Okay, people are just coming. Let us give them some minutes. Gladys, Gladys just came also. Let's quit a little bit. Well, in order to take advantage of time, you know, uh, there is always something to do, right? <laughs> What's new in English, uh, Berenice? <laughs> What's new in English? What is what is the, the, the motivational quote? Because you see... <laughs> You seem to be very motivated tonight. <laughs> I read my daily class and I have a headache. I, you, I have, don't you, you, you have a headache? Why don't you have some coffee? That will help you. That will help you. Yeah. Wait. Oh. Okay. So I think it, it, it would be really nice. Let me see. I think people are chatting in the WhatsApp group. Okay, Oscar, welcome, uh, Gladys, Norma, Mario, and Ronan. Okay. Hello. Nice seeing you in the class. So we're going to start in a minute, okay? Oh, let's see. No, it's not in the group. So, well, I hope tonight, hey, Jonathan, <laughs> hey, Jonathan. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. buddy. Good to see you here. Now, hey, I will check the list Thank attendance. You. And me, will I check the list attendance? Do be the favor to prepare something in English, right? Remember, every single time you get into the English class, you need to say something that you have learned. You had two days, Saturday and Sunday, right? So you had two days in which you were like thinking a lot about English. Yes or no? <laughs> oh, it's Friday and then you say, okay, finally we got Friday and now I forget about English on Saturday and Sunday and on Monday. Well, we will see what happens. Is that the way you think? I hope you're not thinking that way. Well, I will get back. I will ch uh, check the list of attendance. Well, I will, I will let you know about uh, the results that you have been uh, getting lately. All right, so hey, where is the day today, people? <gasps> July, <coughs> sorry, the third, so it cannot be possible. <laughs> so we are in another month, right? <coughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Well, Aidan. Aidan. Uh, 
Okay, that's not over here. Belen. Claudia. Daniel. Present teacher. Okay, Dina. Present teacher. Dina, are you there? Also, oh, that was Claudia, right? Okay, thank you, Claudia. Yes. Dina, Edgar, Gladys. Present. Present right. teacher. Edgar. Oh, Edgar, right. Very good. Uh, Jonathan. Present teacher. Okay, Maria Elba. Mario Cristobal. Present teacher. All right. Marta Berenice. Present teacher. Uh, Michael. Aníbal. Norma Xiomara. All right. Oscar Antonio. Present teacher. That's right. Ronan. Present teacher. Great. Now, Teresa. <laughs> Presentation. Uh, excellent. Very good. Ever Alice. I'm here. Great, people. Thanks for being on time. Hey, listen carefully because now I know that anybody is, is having problems with microphone, okay? Eh, al, algo, fíjense que eh, sucede algo bien curioso. Cuando paso la lista, todos los micrófonos están activos. No hay problemas técnicos de ninguna índole. Pero es bien curioso que cuando ya entramos a algunos ejercicios, yo pido, yo, yo pido la participación de algunos y todos los micrófonos como que tienen algún problema técnico. Espero que esta noche sea diferente, ¿ok? Espero que sea diferente. Entran virus. ¿okay? Entran virus al mismo tiempo, al Zoom, Zoom, nos atacan. Ok, so, hey, welcome. No, really, I'm really happy to see you again. Uh, this is a great, a great group, and I know we're gonna uh, have a great time together. Hey, last time I told you about the topic that we are facing tonight, and that's about present continuous, right? So actually, I was just checking the um, the activities, and all the activities have been completed. Uh, I mean, regarding to the second week. Uh, welcome to the third week. In the third week. We have um, something on here to start with, okay? The topic actually is going to be about present continuous. So this is the topic, people. Today, uh, well, you know, we're going to have some review, yes, but not exactly like getting back into the second week. Now, we are starting with the third week. The, the topic for tonight is present continuous, okay? Yeah, but present continuous meaning future, okay? So you need, to keep, you need to keep it in mind because you can use present continuous in two ways, okay? Uh, for future plans and also for uh, activities being developed at the moment of talking. Okay, so this is the topic. Keep it in mind. But before getting into that topic, well, we have something to start with. Okay, uh, I know, <clears throat> I know that you uh, perfectly know about the months of the year, and you know about. the ordinal numbers, right? So we're going to have a quick review, but not exactly about, about present simple, right? So, but it's going to be about months of the year. Now, you know the months of the year, right? Yes or no? The, actually, do you know the days of the week? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Which are the days of the week? <laughs> Which are the days of the week? Berenice, which are the days of the week? The name is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, right? Okay, yeah. and, and there are there are also months of the year, right? There are 12. 
Yes or no? We do have 12 months of the year, right? So which are the months of the year, Michael? Yes, teacher. Yeah, which are the months of the year? Months of the year. January, February, March, April, June, July, and August, September, October, November, and December. Okay, pretty good. Now, listen, keep people, because today we're going to have a review about uh, months of the year, ordinal numbers, dates, so that somehow we can connect those topics with the present continuous, okay? And at the same time, uh, we're going to think about what we usually do, uh, specific activities in each month, okay? So keep okay. in mind what you usually do, for example, on, on in January, in February, in March, in April, because later you are going to share something with the group. Okay, so I will start with the presentation. Now, yes, right? So the first month of the year, January. Hey, what do January. people, yeah, January. What do people do in January? But for example, in the United States, what do they do? Vacation. <laughs> but you have you have an idea over here, right? In January? Uh, wear a scarf and jacket. Okay, in January, people wear scarves and jackets because in January it's very cold outside. And the lady says, my brother and I built a snow, a snowman, okay? So, you know the very queer, right? Okay, I will say, I, I will ask you so that I can notice if you know the verbs. Okay, uh, what's the meaning? Where, sir? Okay, very Where? good. What's the meaning? Bufanda. Bufanda. Okay, what's the meaning? Fuera. Fuera. What's the meaning? Fuera. Okay, pretty good. <laughs> hey, people, pretty good. <laughs> now, that was a snow <laughs> man. That, that's very yeah. simple, right? So, we are just a uh, Warming El gorro, up. Teacher. Warming, uh, how do you say gorro in English? Oh. But this oh, is part no. of it. <laughs> yeah, that's a hot or a... Okay. I don't know. Now, look at the next part. Mm -hmm. Now, in February... What do people in other countries do? Over here, we don't have snow, right? <clears throat> we don't have snow. But in February, people go skiing during the winter holidays. Okay? February. Now, think about an activity. Now, we're going to do it like this. Ok, vamos a ir leyendo un, lo que aparece acá y ustedes van, van a ir escribiendo lo que ustedes hacen, ok. Eso solo es un ejemplo. Cuando yo termine con la presentación, yo les voy a pedir que por lo menos nos digan una actividad que ustedes hacen en, 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 en el mes que yo les pida, ok. Ok, January is over, right? So, February is over. In February, people go skiing during the winter time. Ok, February. March. In March, I go to the park and see flowers grow. In March, I go to the park and see flowers grow. In April, it's usually Easter. It is sometimes cold and sometimes sunny. And it all depends, right? Because in El Salvador, in April, I mean, the weather gets so hot, okay? 
But in some other countries, well, sometimes it's cold and some other times it's sunny. In May, I spend my free time with my friends on the playground. In May, I spend my free time with my friends on the playground. <clears throat> Okay, that's what this person doing me, right? So you will tell me what you do. Remember, okay? Write down ideas so that you can explain later. In June, <clears throat> my friend and I finished school. The day is really long and the weather is beautiful. June, actually that was the last month, right? <laughs> Today we say good, uh, uh, hello to, to July, actually, you like the first was on, on Sunday, right? Okay, so in June, my friends and I finished school. At the end of the day, uh, it's really long and the weather is beautiful. Now it is, right? July. In July, I go on holidays. I go on holidays with my parents. We swim in the sea and look for shells. July. In August, I travel to the mountains with my sister. It's very hot there, and we take many pictures. Ideas, right? Ideas. September. In September, I go back to school. The leaves fall from the trees. Okay, September. In October, my friends and I celebrate Halloween. It is usually very windy outside. Windy. In November, I play computer games at home. It rains a lot and I rarely go out. And the last one, in December, I spent Christmas with my family, create delicious meals, and exchange present. It's no salad. Okay? And that's it, right? So now, meanwhile, you get the ideas. Let me let me remember some vocabulary, some vocabulary related to the to the seasons, right? To the seasons. For example, spring, March, April, and May. Summer, June, July, and August. Autumn, fall, September, October, and November. Winter, December, January, and February. But what about in El Salvador, people? Do we have all these seasons? No. No. Oh, which, no. which seasons do we have? Yes, summer. 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 Summer, winter. And winter. winter. All right. Very good. Now, uh, in which season are we now? Winter. Winter, right? So it's raining a lot. Sometimes it is very difficult to teach because and to, and to have classes because it's raining a lot. <laughs> uh, Thunder. Uh, thunders and, and, and well, now I discovered that there are people attacking our class. That's what I discovered. Okay. Okay, let me see. Well, now time to ask. Time to ask. Okay. Uh, I will ask one person directly. Okay, so any, everybody, please uh, try to practice. That's that's the, the that's the purpose, right? So we start from people. Okay, Veralis. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Tell me something interesting you do in January. In January, I celebrate uh, of birthday of my mom and mine. Oh wow! You're very lucky. Both of you have birthday in the same in the same month. Wow, you're very lucky. Thank you. Then I have Ronan. Hello. 
Uh, yeah, Ronan, Ronan, go ahead. What about February, Ronan? The virus appeared. Ronan, are you having problems? Uh, okay, no, okay, so tell me. Estoy en el trabajo, teacher, en el trabajo. Ah, oh, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, Teresa. Teacher. Yeah, tell me, tell me something interesting you do in February. Um, in February, uh, celebrity uh, die low. <laughs> you Valentine's celebrate Day. Valentine's Day. Uh, Valentine's Day. Uh, 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 are you single or married, Ter Teresa? Excuse me, no, no entendí. Uh, uh, are you single or married? No, no entiendo. Uh, okay, ¿casada o soltera? Ah, <laughs> casada. <laughs> ah, okay, so later on you are going to tell us about what you keep to your husband, okay? Después nos va a contar cuál fue el regalo que le dio a su esposo. No okay. me acordé. March. Okay, Oscar, tell us about March. What's interesting about it? What do you usually what, what do you actually do in March, Oscar? Um in March I usually spend working and studying. Uh, study pretty good. Thank you. Norma? Hello, Norma. Welcome. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hey, good to see you. Tell me something interesting you do in April. Okay, Norma, think about it because we are getting back, okay? When you get ready, just let us know about it, okay? Uh, Michael, Michael, listen about what you do in April, please. Hello, Michael. Michael, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, so tell me about an interesting activity you do in April, please. In April, well, I don't know what it is. Uh, well, I'm not sure what day is in this month or in this The Holy Week? Holy Week. Mm -hmm. Well, the Holy Week. So you work. You work, yes, yes. Michael. I, okay. I work. I work. Okay. Don't, Mike. Don't, don't, don't have vacation. You don't have vacation uh -huh. time. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm sorry to know about it. Okay, so let us well, move on to the next, please. Uh, let's see. Mario. Hello, Mario. Hello. Hello, tell me something interesting you're doing in May. Um, le podría decir? Este, bueno. Bueno, <laughs> paso, profe. Okay, Mario, we are going to get back to you, okay? Don't worry, be ready. No se preocupe que después nos va a decir, okay? Okay, then we have uh, Maribel. Hello, Maribel. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, Maribel. Maribel, tell me, tell us about something interesting you do in May. May, um, they murmur. They all murmur. Ah, uh, that is the Mother's Day, right? You celebrate Mother's Day. 
Yes. Okay, that's a very, very, a very nice date, right? When we celebrate Mother's Day. Thank you very much, Maribel. Okay. Maria Elba, what can you tell us about an activity you do in June? Maria, are you there? Well, let me see. Maria said, "Ah, okay, all right. Thank you, thank for letting me know, Mary. Hey, Jonathan, let us know about what you do in June. What's what's interesting about June, Jonathan? Um, celebrate um, the Father's Day and um, Teachers' Day." The first day and the teacher's day. Okay. What about July, Gladys? Hello, Gladys. What do you usually do in, in July? Hello, teacher. Hello. Um, we make a party, party with the whole family since my brother's birthday. Oh, fantastic. So your, your brother has his birthday in July. In July. Pretty good, thanks. Let's see, we have a uh, Edgar. Hello, Edgar. Can you tell us about August? I celebrate my divorce. You celebrate? <laughs> my divorce. Oh, my good <laughs> Edgar. <laughs> yes, is, is, is that, that true? Is, is that true, Edgar? It's all right. Is that true? No, it's not. No, right. So you are kidding. <laughs> I know you are kidding. All right. So, but that's a good idea, right? Just do. Hey, I will say this to the teacher, and all right. So it will be done. All right. Good. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. Okay. Berenice, what can you tell us about September? Well, I don't I don't I don't have any, but in September we celebrate in Japan in this country. In September, we celebrate the, in the Independence Day in our country. Okay, so we're going to have some review about the months of the, of the year. So we're going to repeat them only once, okay? Because I know the, you know this perfectly. Everybody, January. Repeat at home, please. February. 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 March. 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 April. 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 May. 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 June. June. July. 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 August. 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 September. 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 October. 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 November. 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 December. 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 Okay, pretty good. Now we're going to stop with this. Okay, I have something else so that we can move on. Okay, now everything is important. I know. Hey, person continues waiting for us. Don't worry. We're going to get there soon, sooner or later. Uh, well, I have something else right here to have some review about. Okay, so you are going to answer some questions to me. We're going to see. There's another PowerPoint. Okay, but be ready, please. Be ready and try to answer as quickly as possible. Here we go. Okay, what do you see there? What is the topic, people? Where's the topic? Ordinal numbers. Ordinal numbers. Ordinal numbers. Numbers ordinal. Ordinal numbers. Review. 
esto es repaso del básico 1. Creo que todos, todos lo estudiaron, ¿verdad? Yo sé que se lo no. pueden súper bien, ¿ok? Pero vamos a hacer un repaso así un poco rápido. ¿Se fijaron en los meses? Fue rápido y vamos con eso un poco rápido a modo de ir llegando al tema central que nos compete esta noche, ¿ok? Pero quiero que estén 100% eh, concentrados, atentos y deseosos de participar. Ordinal numbers. Ok, so, where's the second letter of your first name, Vera Liz? My first name is Vera Liz. Yeah, what is the second letter of your first name? ¿Cómo fue? <laughs> what, what is the second letter of your first name? Munguía. No, but listen carefully. What is the second? Listen, listen carefully. Listen. What is ah, the, the second letter of your first name? Is E. E. All right, <laughs> Michael. What is the fifth month of the year? My. May, all right, very May, good. May. <laughs> That's May, very yeah, good. May, it's May. Hey, then we have Aidan. Aidan haven't said a word tonight. Hey, Aidan, what is the second month of the year? Hello, teacher. Hello. The second month of the year is February. February, all right. <laughs> Aníbal, what is the tenth month of the year? Uh, November, teacher. Are you sure it's November? Now, Aníbal, tell us, now, listen, Aníbal, tell, tell us the, the month of the year, please. We're going to repeat after Aníbal. Vamos a repetir después de Aníbal, ¿ok? Los meses del año, ¿ok, Aníbal? October, October. No, I mean, but that, please, do the favor to repeat, to tell the, 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 the month of the year. <laughs> Aníbal January October January, October No, January January February, ok Let us help February. Aníbal March Aníbal March. April Hey, what happened to Aníbal? A virus? De un virus. Uh, Aníbal, ok, Aníbal. January, eh, February. Ok, tell us the, the month of the year, please, so that we can move on. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. La quinta me está diciendo, la teacher. <laughs> no, la eh, Aníbal, solo quiero que, que nos digan los meses del año una vez. Ah, ok. <ríe> ok. Eh, January, eh, February, eh, March, eh, March, April, eh, May, eh, June, June, July, August, eh, September, eh, November. Uh, okay. You forgot October now. That, that oh. was the answer, right? <laughs> October, October, November, December. Excellent. Thank you, Aniva. Thank you. Hey, the 10th the month of the year, now you know that's October, right? Now, Berenice, what is the seventh letter of this question? The letter C? Letter T, all right, very good. Now, then we have, uh, let me see, because I don't see everybody here. Maribel, what is the third word in the third question in this exercise? What is the third word in the third question in this exercise? But it's the third word 
in the third question in this exercise. Now, if you know the answer, help. Si ya se la saben, ayúdenle a los compañeros, okay? Where the third? Ah, da, all right. So da. hey, da. last time we 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 learned pronunciation, okay? Da, da or di? Pueden decir. Quiero ver cómo sería aquí. Da sería aquí. Da second, da. right? Da. 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 Pronunciation. I'm checking pronunciation oh, also. Okay. okay, now Daniel. What is the second letter in your last name? F. F. What is your, what, what, what is your? My last, last name. Yeah, is what, this. So it is not ah, F, second right? letter. Yeah, second letter. Uh, sec <laughs> the E. Daniel is uh. letter E. I. Ah, all right. So please don't, don't get, don't get nervous. All right. Now, then we're going to the next one, okay? So we're gonna try to finish. Uh, let me see about, let me see who else. I'm gonna ask some other people. Okay, Jonathan, what is the fifth word in this sentence? Um... In this sentence, el quinto, Mundo, okay. No, well, this is ah, a word. Letra, word. Letra, letra, sí, bien. Word. Is um. Age. No, I mean, what is the fifth word in this sentence? What? Ah. What? What? <laughs> the fifth. Yeah, the fifth. Okay, first, second, third. Word. <laughs> yeah, it's word, right? So okay. the fifth word is word. Okay, so the next one, Edgar, where is the ninth or uh, the the ninth letter of the alphabet? Edgar, are you there? You got a virus? Elka. Hello, hello. Hey, now if you if you know if you know the answer, help your your classmates, okay? Hi. 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 Okay. Hi. And what Hi. is the fifteenth letter of the alphabet? Oh. 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 Okay. <laughs> All right. So pretty good, people. Now, as you can see, we are just uh, using the, 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 the ordinal numbers, second, fifth, uh, tenth, seventh, etc. Right. So actually, we have them all over here. And as you can see, uh, I don't know if you studied this in basic one. Actually, I remember we studied it. Berenice, do you remember if we studied this topic? Yo no había iniciado el curso aquí, teacher. Así que yo, la verdad no, no había visto nada de eso aquí. Ah, okay. So, so it, well, actually in basic one, I taught this. Okay. So, and this is very important because, you know, it, since we are talking about the month of the year and the I mean and the date so we're going we, we have to know about the way they are pronounced right or the way they pronounce so for example if I ask you what's the date today it's uh July here uh it's July that's it right sure. yeah Okay, so but if we want if we wanted to uh, provide a complete uh, date, then we may say today is Monday, July oh. the third, and the year. Oh. The year. No, no sé cómo lo pronuncia. Okay, so. Seven. The, 
Huh? Seven. The year? What? Seven. Seven? No, I mean, how do you say the year in this year in English? I mean. The uh, 20, 20, 20. 20. Twenty twenty third. Uh, Belen, you know, you know. Uh, este video queda en la plataforma Belen. Siempre lo pueden visualizar ahí, ¿ok? Siempre queda grabado. No se preocupen por eso. Okay, so. Uh, okay, don't worry. Okay, so hey, actually we're gonna. So if you if you never heard about it, so we're gonna repeat. Okay, we're gonna get till the the thirty first. Vamos a llegar hasta aquí que es donde hasta donde a mí me me interesa ahorita porque pues si no pues no vamos a, no va a tomar mucho tiempo este repaso. Si ustedes se fijan, pues necesitamos aprendernos los números hasta acá para decir las fechas, ¿verdad? Entonces este Veamos, vamos a repetir. Y fíjense en algo. Cuando lo, cuando lo, es, lo escriban, algunas veces ustedes van a ver que tienen estas terminaciones siempre que están en el primero, el segundo y tercero. Ok. Y, y miren aquí en el de 21st, 22nd, 23rd. Eh, porque esas terminan en, esa, en esas dos letras. Ese es todo el meollo del asunto. Ok, ya lo demás termina en TH. Por eso es que os, cuando ustedes ven fechas en inglés, ahí aparece de esa manera. Ok. So, let's see what's coming. So, we're going to repeat. Ok. First. 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 Second. Second. Third. 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 Fourth. 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 Yo lo exagero, pero sí hay que hacer ese sonido. Fifth. 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 Sixth. 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 Seventh. 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 Eighth. 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 Ninth. 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 Tenth. Eleventh, Eighteen. Eighteen. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I got lost. Sixteenth. Sixteenth. It's because I was checking something else. Seventeenth. Seventeenth. Eighteenth. Eighteenth. Nineteenth. Nineteenth. Twentieth. Twentieth. Twenty-first. Twenty-first. First. First. Twenty second, twenty second, twenty third, twenty third, twenty fourth, twenty fourth, twenty fifth, twenty sixth, twenty sixth, twenty seventh, twenty eighth, twenty eighth, twenty ninth. 30th. 30th. 31st. 31st. Michael. Yeah. Uh, okay, Michael. I'll do it. Don't worry. Okay, now that we heard about pronunciation of those ordinal numbers. We are, well, actually, we're, I was thinking about having it be about the days of the week, but you know, this is quite simple, right? 
So I know quite well that did you know the days of the week? Now, what day is this one? Hello. Monday. Monday. Man Monday. Monday. Wednesday. 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 Thursday. Friday. Thursday. Friday. Saturday. Saturday. Sunday. Sunday. Simple, right? Very simple. Very, very simple. Months of the year. Okay, we already know about it. Okay, July. Well, where's the first? January, February, February, March, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, September, October, November, and December. December. The Sunday. The dates. Now, this is a challenge. Aquí está el reto. How do you say this date, people? Not. How do you say this date? ¿Cómo dicen February 1st. Ah. Yes. Well, <laughs> February. February 1. No, we say one. First. One first. First. February. First. And the year? 2011. Okay, you can say 2011 or 2011. Se puede decir dos maneras. 2011 or 2011, all right? All right. Second one. How do you say this date? August. 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 The third. The third. Yes. Nineteen. 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 How do you say this date? December. Twenty one. No, no. Don't say twenty one. No, no. Twenty one. No. The twenty first. Mm -hmm. 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, well, over right here, you're going to say like 1700. 1700. Yeah, so if we had like this, how would you say it? 1800. 1800, right? Pretty good. Now, I think we have this day. How do you say this day? October. October. 19th. 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 In the year? 2014. 2014. And the last one, how do you say this year? July 1st. Pretty good. Pretty good. Now I knew it was only a, a it was only, well, let me see if we still have some time. Yeah. When's Valentine's Day, people? Four in May. It's, it is on the May. Yeah, over here, remember. Well, let me see. Yeah. Now remember. Recuérdense de esto que cuando usamos on, se recuerdan cuando vimos las preposiciones. Cuando decimos una fecha exacta, on February, the 14th, February right? 14th. Allí sí debe de ser on, pero si solo dijéramos en febrero, 
In February. Ok. Remember about it. Ok, so, but, acá sí les está pidiendo fecha exacta. Man. When's Valentine's Day? So, a ley, hay que usar el, el on. Ok. So, when is Christmas Day? When um, is Christmas Day? It's... Oh, well, actually, I forgot about typing this. Okay. Vamos, vamos a decirlo de manera completa. It's... It's on December. Oh, okay. It's on December. It's on February. 24th. 25. Christmas Day. The 25th. 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 Okay. When is American Independence Day? It's on July 4th. Tomorrow, right? It's tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow. yeah, it's tomorrow. Hey, what's the day today? Today is July 3rd. Okay, 20, today is Monday, 20, July the 3rd, 2023. Excellent. What's your date of birth? What's your date of birth? My birth is on March 1st. Okay, my birthday is on March the 1st. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's see. That's everything about this. Now, fortunately, we finish. Okay. Fortunately, we finish on time. Well, actually, we're missing like seven minutes, but we're going to go over uh, the topic. Okay. Now, yes, we're going to go over the topic. Um, I want you to be very concentrated because let's see, it's all in here. Yeah, it's all in here. Well, as you can see, the PDF presents information we have been studying, right? So, but why do you think it's important? Well, we're going to start talking about ongoing activities at the workplace, right? And there's a conversation over here, Susan and Adele, right? So they're seeing like uh, some info. Well, I could, actually, I will ask two people to read it. Uh, Jonathan, could you please do me the favor to read to read it? And also, Vera Liz. Yes. Um... Um, or you, you can start, Jonathan. Okay. Uh, Abdul, please. Pardon. <clears throat> Abdul, please check my agenda. Bueno, agenda, agenda. No, no recuerdo cómo se pronuncia eso. And what is meaning with the coastal town? On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representative? It's on Friday, the 26th. Okay. Excellent, pretty good. Actually, as you can see, it's exactly, I mean, the information we have just studied, right? We, this, there is a date over here, there is a month, okay, etc. And ordinal numbers, right? Uh, uh, the pronunciation, Jonathan, agenda. Agenda, agenda. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, when is Susan's meeting, people? We need Susan's meeting. It's 
Is that on Monday, November the 22nd? Hello, hello. Yes, November 22nd. Yeah, it's on Monday, November the 22nd, right? That's why she is she's uh, asking Adele about checking the agenda, right? And yes. Adele answers by November. telling this date, right? So after that, there is a conference, right? There is a what conference, about... okay? Yes. Meeting, conference, okay? Now, what about the conference with Mexican representatives? It's on Friday, the 26th. Now, do you think Susan has a busy agenda, people? Yes or no? Susan, a busy agenda? Yes. Yeah, why do you think she has a, 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 a busy agenda? Why? What, what, what makes you think? She has a busy agenda. ¿Qué le hace pensar que ella tiene una agenda muy ocupada? In English, of course, right? Remember, you can use the web, you can use translators, you can use a dictionary, you can use any, any tool you wish. But let us try to provide answers, okay? Why she, she has a conference with a Mexican representative? Excellent, Michael. Hey, Michael, listen, listen carefully, okay? And this is for everybody. Pretty good, Michael. The idea was... It was perfect. La idea está perfecta, Michael. Solo fijémonos en algo. Si yo les pregunto, ¿qué significa why? ¿Qué me dicen ustedes? Because. ¿Qué significa ah, why? Sí. Because. ¿Por qué? No, I mean, en Spanish. ¿Por, ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? Y estoy Because. preguntando. <laughs> Cuando respondemos, ah, bueno, ¿qué significa esto? ¿Por qué? De ah, ¿por qué? Pero cuando sí, respondemos, sí. ¿ok? Cuando respondemos. Uh -huh. eh, why do you think? Porque esto en realidad debería, o lo, o lo podríamos poner a, al inicio. ¿no? Ya hacer la pregunta uh -huh. acá, empezar con, why do you think Susan has a busy agenda? Y ya luego usted continúa con, because, because. ajá. Now, once again, I will, let us try once again. Hey, why do you think Susan has a busy agenda? <clears throat> Michael. Mm, because she has a conference with the Mexican representative. Now, oh, yes, fantastic, Michael. Now, oh, yes. Pretty and good. Have a meeting. Because, Berenice? She has uh, two events in the same week, a uh, meeting and a uh, conference with the Mexican representatives. Wow, that's quite good, right? Because she's having two activities during the same week, right? Yeah. Yeah, on Monday, she is having her, her meeting. That's on Monday, right? And on yeah. Friday, she's having her conference. So... Actually, she needs to be ready for both activities. We don't know what's happening uh, on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, right? Of course, uh, seems to be a very busy lady. Pretty good, pretty good. Now, no more about months of the year, no más. No, ya lo repetimos tres veces. Okay, ya repetimos mucho los días de la semana. Ahora sí, aquí sí, quizás vamos a hacer un repaso. Ok, vayanme diciendo los números ordinales, por favor. No, ordinal numbers. Ordinal, ordinal. Verse. 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 
solo una vez, ¿ok? Solo quiero que, que se enganchen a qué, es, a qué es lo que nos estamos enfrentando, ¿ok? Es presente continuo. Y presente continuo se usa de dos maneras, ¿ok? Una, para hablar, eh, para comunicar lo que estamos haciendo al momento que estamos hablando, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, yo estoy enseñando inglés en este momento, que está sucediendo ahorita. Los participantes están prestando atención. Está sucediendo ahorita, ¿ok? Pero ese tiempo también puede ser usado con significado a futuro. Si nosotros leemos acá lo que ve subrayado, vamos a ver. Uh, who is representing the company in the yearly conference? ¿Será futuro o es algo que está haciendo la persona al momento que está hablando? Del momento que está hablando. ¿Es presente? But if, if we call, it may be, it may be, it may be present, right? Podría ser presente. Pero si nosotros leemos lo que sigue, mm -hmm. hey Peter, well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too. También. Yo creo que aquí está la clave, miren. So, este año también. Ajá. Entonces, estos están hablando en futuro. El Peter y el Henry están hablando en futuro. ¿Sí o no? Va, entonces, oigan bien. Si, 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 no, si no hubiéramos descubierto que esto es futuro, esto diría, hey, ¿quién está presenta representando a la compañía este año? Pero como ya vimos que hay algo más que se refieren a futuro, bueno, lo hará Peter. Oh, no. Bueno, lo hará María. Pero Julie atenderá la conferencia este año también. Atenderá. Fíjense bien. Is attending. Atenderá. O va a atender. All right. Ya está planificado. Entonces es va a atender. Ya, ya, le, ya le asignaron a ella. Entonces, fíjense bien, porque ya vamos a, ya, ya vamos a ver un poco de gramática. Y, uh, pero solo los quiero, quiero que, que, que tomen la idea, ¿ok? Y siguen, miren. But, I see, but yeah. if Julie is attending, ah, ya veo, pero si Julie, ¿qué significa ahí? Julie is attending. Está atendiendo. No, no, no porque ya, ya dijimos que está en futuro. Pero si Yuli atenderá. Atenderá. Ah, atenderá. Pero si Yuli va a atender. Ajá. Who's delivering the, pre the, represent the presentations for the CEO? Existe. ¿Quién? ¿Quién será? ¿Quién ¿Sabe será este la verbo? representación? ¿Saben ah. este verbo? Presentación. Ah. Delivering. Entregar. Ah, ¿Quién? ¿Quién? Who? Who is delivering? Entregar. Yeah, but, no, yeah, but who's delivering? ¿Quién entregó la? ¿Quién va a entregar la presentación? Uh, okay, Pre thank you very much, Daniel. Thank you very much, Daniel. Futuro. Guess what? I am. Es que ahí dice la siguiente semana, la semana próxima. Ah, ya. Yeah. Oh, y aquí está más claro todavía. Miren, thank you. Esta es, esta es... Próxima semana. Sí. Está Next mucho más week. claro. Miren. Next week. Guess what? I am. Adivina qué. Yo lo haré. O yo lo voy a hacer. I am presenting with Hector the new content. I am presenting with Hector. Yo voy a presentarlo con Hector. Okay, sounds great. I am informing the committee about it. Suena muy bien. Uh, entonces, 
¿Cómo sería que I am informing? Estoy al tanto. No, no, no. This is future, remember. All of them are in the future. All right. All right. Si es futuro, entonces informaré o voy a informar al comité. Okay, now I hope that we got the idea, people. I hope we got the idea, right? So now, yes, I will move to English. Well, actually, I shared I shared two videos uh, in the WhatsApp group. Estos son los links que yo les compartí en el, en el, en el grupo de WhatsApp, pensando en la actividad que tienen para el viernes. O sea, ahí hay frases, ahí hay pronunciación, ahí es... pues pueden eh, recoger algunas ideas de, de esos videos. ¿Ok? Ok, now, uh, well, we're going to complete this. It says complete the following sentences. Use the conversation above to help you. Now, he is present with the new employee. Put the he is present. But what's missing on here? ¿Qué le hace falta la oración? He is present. In ah, in ING, right? He is presenting ING, something that you need to keep in mind. Yeah, ING. Now, I informing the committee about it. What about that? I am. Yeah. I am. So, something that you need to keep in mind is that present progressive. Do you, I mean, well, we're going to see that we're going to see the, the presentation I have because. Escribir, estar escribiendo con este lapicito me cuesta demasiado. Ok. Let's get, let's, let's see. I will stop sharing this and we're going to see a presentation that I have here. Let me see which was the one. Ok. So I think this one is better. I have two. But I think this is the, the most durable. Present continuous future. Uh, present, future. Uh, present continuous future meaning future right so this is like the topic okay we have it in affirmative negative no uh, uh, I remember I told you once that in every single tense in English you have the three form right Positive statements, negative statements, interrogative statements, double H question uh, with any tense. Okay, so this is just another tense. Yo me recuerdo que les dije que no importaba el tiempo. Siempre íbamos a tener versiones positivas, negativas, preguntas de sí o no, preguntas abiertas. Okay, y este pues es el presente continuo con significado o para decir Ideas a futuro. Affirmative, so we need a subject. We need present continue. Okay, that's it. But what is present continue? Subject. So how do we form present continue? Subject. The verb to be. Another verb in ING form. And the complement. So that's it, right? So I'm seeing the dentist at five. And this is future. Right? I am seeing the dentist at five. I'm seeing the dentist at five. Future. She is arriving tomorrow morning. She is arriving tomorrow morning. Future. We are leaving. We are leaving the town tomorrow. We are leaving the town tomorrow. Future, right? Las tres tienen significado futuro. Miren, iré a ver al dentista a las cinco. She's arriving tomorrow morning. Ella va a venir mañana en la mañana. We are leaving the town tomorrow. Mañana saldremos de la ciudad. Future, right? Now, we have it in negative. We need a subject, present continuous, but negative. Now, how do we form the negative? The nearest statement. The only thing that you need to use is to include the, the, 
the word not. Hey, you are you are not spending Christmas with your family. Remember that you can contract, right? You say you are, you are, you're, or you are, you aren't. Okay. You are. Yeah, you aren't spending Christmas with your family. Uh, the other one, negative, right? Uh, he's not meeting Susana. Three. Future. Se ven? Para ser negativas en futuro. No, no pasarás o no vas a pasar la Navidad con tu familia. Él no se va a reunir con Susan a las tres. Ok, so. They are not going anywhere tomorrow. No irán a ningún lado mañana. So let's see. We have also questions. No, no. In the question form, you need to you need to start with the verb to be, right? At the beginning. Then you need the subject, then you need another verb in the IGG form. How come? Are they getting married next month? Are they getting married next month? Se van a casar el, el mes que viene. Are they getting married next month? Are we doing anything on Sunday morning? Are we doing anything on Sunday morning? What time is Mary leaving tomorrow? What time is Mary leaving tomorrow? Okay, so all of them are in future, right? As you can see, we have pre the verb to be, the subject, and okay. another very day okay. in your form. Now, whenever you have a question, si alguien tiene una pregunta, recuérdense, pueden interrumpirme y nos detenemos un rato a, a tratar de aclarar alguna duda, okay? Arrangements plan that you have decided and organized with another person. All right, so we're going to see the way we use it. Arrangements plan that you have decided and organized with another person. As you can see over here, he says arrangements, right? He says arrangements. Okay, so if you don't know about this word, now you know arrangements are plans, okay? Arreglo. That you have, ah? Arreglo. Yeah, that's right. So they are plans, okay? Arreglo. Arrangements, plans, okay? That you have decided and organized with another person, okay? I'm visiting my cousin in Paris this weekend. It's a plan, right? There is another there is another expression you will use, but I think we're gonna we're gonna start that later. He's picking me up at the airport. He's picking me up at the airport. He's picking me up. And that's it, right? So I will stop sharing this. We're almost getting into the part that you need to start working. And now here we're going to solve some exercises, okay? So be ready with your with your Word document. Listo con su documento Word, okay? Vamos a empezar a resolver ejercicios. Any question? No question. Uh, okay, now later, luego vamos a tener una comparación, okay? okay de él, cómo se usa el presente simple lo vimos durante toda una semana completa ok entonces pues pero vamos igual vamos a hacer una comparación con estos dos tiempos ok now we have this people things people do every day so si yo digo actividades que las personas hacen todos los días qué tiempo estoy usando Simple present, read Simple a book. Simple present, right? I read a book, you read a book, he reads a book, etc. Well, we, we are, we have, okay, a lot of, we have been studying a lot about it. Now, read a book. Uh -huh. Tell me, read, help me to read, please. Read a book. Read a book. Continue. Continue. Take a shower. Take a shower. 
Wait for a bus. Working in an office. 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 Cuando, cuando, mm -hmm. ya, cuando ustedes hablan, mm -hmm. se recuerdan que yo les he dicho que muchas veces vamos a encontrarnos con blending sounds, sonidos que se, se unen. Working, miren, como que, como que estuviera diciendo una sola palabra. Working and, y de hecho lo uno todo, working in an office. Working in an office. Okay. So, working in an office. Working in an office. Running the park. Running the park. Very good. Running the park. The English hunger. Right. The English hunger. Play football. Play football. Okay. Simple present. So far, so good, right? So, but over here, okay, now. Now, what, what is this? How do you say this in English? Wait for a bus. Wait for a bus. How do you say this in English? Wait. What about this? Play, Play the soccer. Play soccer. Okay. Yeah, but, but we have read over here, but this, this guy is doing something else. Studying. Ah, he is he, he I mean do the do the English study. Yeah, do the English homework, right? Oh. Work in an office. Work in an office. Cook dinner. Cook dinner. Dinner. Take a shower. Take a shower. Okay, Take so shower. over, right? So now things, pay attention. Things. Doing things now. Ahora sí. Ya vimos a futuro, ahora vamos a ver algunos ejemplos de cómo se usa eh, con, eh, con respecto al presente progresivo acti en actividades que hacemos al momento en que estamos hablando. Ok. Here we go. Now, what is she doing? Esa sería la pregunta. What is she what doing? Is she playing. is. She is. She is playing. Playing soccer. Right now? Playing football. Playing football. Okay. Oh. Sorry. Play football. Okay. Can you listen to me? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now listen carefully because over here we want to see. Something. This is a key, right? ¿Se recuerdan de aquellas expresiones que de alguna manera nos ayudaban a, a saber que era futuro? Ok, esto es en presente. Miren. What is Kate doing? ¿Qué es lo que está haciendo Kate en este momento? Kate is playing soccer. Ahora, si yo le cambio aquí le, y, y, y tacho esto y le pongo on Saturday, Ok, miren lo que lo cambia. Depende del contexto también, ¿verdad? Porque algunas veces no nos da como expresiones eh, directas de tiempo. Pero aquí está más que claro que el futuro. Pero si decimos now, ok, se sobreentiende que son actividades que estamos viendo en, en su momento. So, what is Kate doing? She is playing football. Next one. What is Jane doing now? What is she working? She's working in the office. In the office. office. Uh, he's reading a book. A book. Uh -huh. 
Waiting. What about the lady? She's waiting. She's waiting. She's waiting the bus or for the bus. She's waiting the bus for the bus. She's waiting the bus. What, what is Jean doing? This is no. the question, right? No. Hey, what is Jean? What is hey? I like this sentence because uh, the structure is divided perfectly, right? So, depending, right, on what you want to create a double H question word, the verb to be, the subject, another verb in the ing form, ing form. And you have a complement, right? So this would be like now, tomorrow, the day after tomorrow. Okay, so it all depends on what you what you want to what you want to say. Okay. Hey, what is Jane doing now? She she is working. In, 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 say da or D. In the office, right? In the office. Is it the, is a vowel? Now, he is reading a book. A book. She is. Waiting, waiting for, for a bus. A bus. Yes, waiting for a bus. Now we have, what are they doing, people? Dennis, Mr. Lee. Olga and Dennis, what are, what are Olga and Dennis doing? They watching TV. They're watching TV. What is Mrs. Lee doing? She, she it's a lady. It's, it's a lady. She calling she's calling by phone. We have Chappy. Hey, what's Chappy doing? Chapping is running. Tim, what is Tim doing? Reading. Tim is reading. Studying. He is reading. Yeah, Tim. Uh, now, Miss Lee is talking on the phone, right? Tim uh, is studying. Uh, Olga and Dennis are watching TV. Chappie is running. It's okay, funny. now, do me the favor to complete it, people, as soon as possible. Sure. Okay, let me see. I will choose some people, okay? Uh, Daniel, please, number one. ¿Qué le hace falta ahí? Daniel, lea la oración completa, por favor. I am listening for, to the teacher. I am, I am listening, listening to the teacher. All the right? Teacher. Very good. Jonathan, number two. Sam is playing with a toy car. Good. Aidan, number three. Hello. Julie and Anne are writing a note to Fred. A note to Fred. Thank you. Uh, then we have Aníbal. My dog is waiting for me. Great. Berenice. Harry and John are reading a, ma a magazine. A magazine, very good. Claudia? My parents? I work. Excellent, thank you. I work in. Edgar? Mr. Green Mrs. is cooking. Mrs. Mrs. Green Mrs. Is, cooking. is cooking. Mrs. Green is cooking. Mrs. Okay. Now, over here, let me see directions. If it says directions. 
Uh, I think we need to continue, right? So we need to continue like creating a present continue. Now, Gladys? John is swimming. John is swimming. Michael? Mary is a little right. right. Mary is right. 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 Mary is Mary writing. Is right. Writing a letter. a letter. Julie and Sue are cleaning the kitchen. Are cleaning. Excellent. Are cleaning the kitchen. Okay. Gary. Gary is having. <laughs> is having a shower. Jill. Jill is, is washing up. Washing up. We. We are studying. We are, we are studying. studying. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and the chef is cooking. cooking. The chef is cooking, right? So that's it. Hey, you have done a great job. So I hope that. Uh, the present continue just become uh hey what are you doing now are you listening are you looking at the teacher is your teacher talking and that's it right <laughs> okay so well i hope that now you have a clearer idea about what's happening or what happened tonight, okay? So let us do, we are going to have like 10 minutes. Antes de entrar a, a los dos grupos, vamos a tener, todavía tenemos para practicar un poco. Necesito que nos escriban que, cuáles son sus planes para esta semana, utilizando presente continuo, okay? Si no lo van a hacer de lunes a domingo, pero por lo menos que nos, que nos digan algunas actividades que ustedes han pensado realizar. ¿Ok? Vamos a gastarnos cada los 10 minutos. Luego de los 10 minutos, eh, yo les voy a dar el espacio para que trabajen en grupos. ¿Se recuerdan? ¿Ok? So, 10 minutes. 10 minutes.
Hola. Trabajamos, pero como no me sé nada de, de sala ni nada, por eso me quedé solo observando. Mm, okay. No he hecho los grupos todavía. Ah, ok, ok. Trabajando en el proceso positivo de las 10 de la semana. Ok. Bueno, yo creo que luego, pero sí, vamos a Esperamos entonces. Sí, yo pienso que sí. Ok. Se quedan instrucciones. Ok, I think we're going to stop over here. Nos vamos a detener por acá porque veo que están con muchos ánimos de trabajar en grupo. Pero antes de ir al trabajo en grupo, uh, no sé quién me, me podría participar 
contándonos cuáles son las actividades que ya están establecidas para esta semana, con presente progresivo. Quiero escuchar por lo menos a dos personas. Mañana vamos a, vamos a tener un espacio para, para que puedan los demás participar, ¿ok? Pero por lo menos escuchar a dos personas para, para este, re, terminar con, con esto de Present Progressive. Esta noche, no es que ya lo terminamos. Okay, two volunteers, only two, and then we go and work with, with the groups, people. Okay, I am saying the games. I am taking a holidays. I am watching TV. Okay, so all of them in future, right? Um, in future, uh, yeah. I am saying the games on Friday. Okay. Yeah, I am taking a holidays on Friday. Friday is el asueto is holidays holidays. Yeah. Okay, Daniel. Okay, that's quite important, right? So if you say uh, I'm watching TV, okay. So we don't know if we if you are watching TV now, right? So Vera Liz, I saw your your hand that you raise your hand. Yes, uh, okay. we're starting in the week. Uh -huh. I'm going to training tomorrow. I'm training, uh, I'm having a training tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. We are watching the movie uh, Element at the weekend. All right, perfect. We are watching a movie during the weekend. Pretty good. No one else? Uh, Veronice. Yeah. Well, tomorrow going to the bank and at 10 p.m. I am, I have an appointment with the dentist and at the night eating in a restaurant with my mom and the Wednesday on Sunday, I am working. Pretty good. Okay. So when are you having your, your day with the with the dentist? Yeah, at 10 a.m. Uh, tomorrow? Yeah. Uh, so tomorrow you are having a day uh, with, with the dentist. All right. Pretty good. Excellent. So tomorrow we will continue with this topic. Ahora, vamos a trabajar en grupos. Recuérdense, a optimizar tiempo, solo le voy a estar asignando 15 minutos. Es corto, pero... De poquito a poquito se llena el paso hasta llegar al día viernes. Así que ánimos. Este, al regresar solo nos despedimos y mañana continuamos. ¿Les parece? Lo Vamos con los... Sí. Vamos con los mismos grupos. Eh, de acuerdo a cómo Zoom lo, los ordena, sí, creo que no, no, no cambia. Veamos. Ok, here we go. Good luck.
viernes es es una presentación de todo lo que hemos aprendido de la semana pasada y esta semana no, sí, pero ahora se habla de todo lo de todo lo estudiado días. de todo lo que hemos visto en estas dos semanas ¿eh? la semana anterior y esta semana o sea que si sí, nos vacunaron <risa> Hey, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt, sorry, sorry to interrupt. Re Recuérdense que el reto es crear una historia en donde ustedes le van a ir incluyendo efectos de sonido, pues con, con, como, como ustedes puedan, con su boca, con... Con algunas cucharas ahí. O sea, la intención es que se lo pasen bien, pero, pero que creen algo muy bonito. ¿Verdad? Pichi, ¿el tema cuál sería? ¿O nosotros qué haríamos? Ustedes tema? lo eligen. Okay, ah, ustedes nosotros eligen. tenemos que buscar el tema. Una historia, sí, es una hacer, historia. Hacer okay. la historia, escribir la historia Ajá. y agregarle sonido. Efectos de sonido. Ajá, y, okay. y este, la intención es que se vea el, el trabajo en equipo porque en realidad he visto que ustedes trabajan muy bien en equipo, y pues que se coordinen ahí, ahora va vos con los chiflidos, ahora va vos con las cucharas, ahora... Ok, ya <risa> ustedes ya, ya se imaginarán qué bonito va a salir, primero Dios, el día, el día viernes, ok, esa es la idea, ok. 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 Teacher. Tell me. Eh, no nos irá a cambiar nuevamente después la plataforma, porque hoy nos tocó con unos, no sé si la próxima nos vaya a cambiar cuando nos reúnen en grupo. Cambia, ¿Cambiaron los participantes? Sí. sí. Estamos hablando con Daniel que al menos Aníbal y mi persona estábamos en el otro grupo. No me imagino que... Sí. <risa> Va, entonces espérense, vamos a ver qué hora Aníbal. ¿Qué hacemos? ¿Qué hacemos? ¿Qué hacemos? ¿Qué hacemos? Aníbal y Lee Edgar van para el, para el grupo uno, espérenme ahorita. Eh, no te... <risa> Aníbal, <risa> no, no, Aníbal y Edgar van para el otro grupo. Nos vemos, Daniel. Hey, nos vemos, mucho gusto. <risa> No, hombre, pidiendo la escoba para irse a volar, querida. Y empezamos como, como a platicar uno por uno, qué has hecho, cómo has estado, tanto tiempo sin verte. Doctor, doctor. Y empieza cada quien a platicar. Hola. Y cada quien empieza a platicar un poquito a modo de que todos vayamos participando y aportando parte de nuestras ideas a la, a la conversación. Y los efectos de sonido, ¿cómo lo, cómo excuse lo me, vamos a hacer? Excuse me. Uh, lo siento, les voy a interrumpir. ¿Quiénes son sí. las personas que no pertenecían al grupo, a este grupo? Yo. Va a ver a Liz. Jonathan. <risa> Y Jonathan. Va, entonces Veraliz y Jonathan van para el otro grupo, ¿ok? Y Aníbal. Aníbal ¿Y estaba en el otro, estaba con nosotros. De aquí solo dos habemos de, de este grupo, creo. Ah. Estaba con no, usted, lo que usted no estuvo la vez pasada. Quiero ver. Sí, creo que solo dos. Ah, ahí se fue. Berenice y yo creo que estamos en el otro. Ajá. Y que no, bueno, no remember. No, 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 no me acuerdo de todos. Oh, ok, now, eh, quiero ah, que. Ah, Edgar, no, Edgar también. Quiero que eh, no vayan a perder la idea de la actividad, no, ¿verdad? Falta, ¿Es una historia? Eche, no, no falta Aiden. ¿Quién? Aiden, aquí estaba sí. Aiden. Allá, sí. Mire, no me dijo nada en el otro grupo, calladito <risa> se quedó. Es que ya lo voy a mandar, ya se los mando. Sí, se lo tenemos ahí. Miren, <risa> miren no, no quiero que, se, Ay, que nos vayamos a perder de la idea central, que es crear una historia, uh -huh. ¿ok? En donde todos van a participar haciendo efectos de sonido, hablando, que es lo más importante, ¿ok? Que el inglés es lo principal, ¿verdad? Ya lo demás, se los dije la vez anterior, es para divertirse, ¿ok? Va, ya les mando a Irán. Teacher, yo uh, no Gladys. estuve el, el viernes, entonces no sé si me quedo en este grupo o me voy a ubicar en el otro. Oh, está bien acá, Gladys. Está bien. Okay. Okay. Yo tampoco estuve, teacher, en el grupo. Teacher. Bueno, no, 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 no estuve el viernes en la clase. Ah, bueno, quédense acá, entonces. Quédense acá, no hay problema. 
Ya voy a tomar foto de cómo han quedado los grupos para no estar este, especulando quiénes están en qué grupo, ¿ok? Ok, trabajemos, porfa, ya se nos fue casi el tiempo. Estábamos bien filtrados en otro grupo nosotros. <risa> ya, 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 ya nos robaron la idea ahí. Sí, ya. <risa> ya estaba anotando eso. <risa> Ah, no, te van a notar el teacher, no, ¿a cuánto? Porque me pareció ahí también. Regresaron al grupo. No quería venir. ¿Qué había hecho, pues? Me dejó el teacher. Ya nada quería venir, ¿verdad? Seis traición al equipo. No, 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 ya tendría que saber de qué van hablando todos. Hoy creo que ya no nos cambia. Yo, o ex compañeros de estudio, puede ser, vea, de los antiguos. Entonces, na, empezar con lo más, lo más básico, a modo de que a media vez vayamos dialogando, vayamos incorporando todo lo que hemos ido aprendiendo hasta llegar a lo que estamos actualmente. Mm. Eso, eso era lo que estábamos hablando. La Ajá. otra, bueno, no sé, yo también comenté de que, que les parece una pequeña conferencia donde, digamos, hay alguien que está uh, como dando una presentación y hace preguntas o hace consultas y los demás dan su punto de opinión, uno por uno. Dan algún no. punto de vista o alguna observación. Eh, me, yo, por ejemplo, si yo pregunto qué proponen, dice, por ejemplo, el día lunes yo pienso de que podemos hacer esto. Otro dice yo el martes siento que esto y lo otro. No sé eh, cuál sería... Les me parece? parece también, me parece también, porque pudiera ser como que alguien es el jefe y está pidiendo sugerencias y también Correcto. dando indicaciones. Y así utilizamos los días de la semana y el presente continuo. Ajá, ya de un solo. Uh -huh. Sí, me parece ver, bien. Somos seis, ¿verdad? Pero, ajá. Somos ocho, según. Eh, somos los... ocho, según. Ajá. No, somos siete, siete, siete. pero. Eh, ¿Cómo ah, es el sí. teacher ahí? Ah, sí, muy ya bien. lo vimos. Va, entonces podemos hacer una Richard, cosa. ¿qué ¿verdad? hacemos? <risa> Mire, yo disfruto con ustedes, pero no me gusta interrumpirles. Yo solito me quedo riendo por acá, pero, pero sí, están muy bien las ideas. Fíjense que eh, estoy pensando que es muy buena. Es, en realidad, les voy a ser sincero, es la primera vez que hago esto con un grupo. Pero eh, estoy pensando que que esto de alguna manera nos va a ayudar a amarrarnos a inglés durante el día, o sea, en el día, dedicarnos un poquito a, bueno, ¿y qué le vamos a meter a la historia? Pero ya cuando regresemos el día siguiente, pues ya reunirse y ya traen otras ideas a modo de irle implementando a, a su historia. Pero sí, no me gusta interrumpirles porque yo sé que solo el tiempo, pues solo son 15 minutos, así que lo dejo. Okay. <risa> bueno, entonces decidámonos por cuál historia para que así mañana traigamos ya, ya las un poquito ideas más avanzado. Más avanzado, allá las ideas, ya las, lo, la, las oraciones escritas en inglés. Ajá, correcto. Me parece sí, bueno. bastante la idea de, 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 de la reunión de, 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 ajá, de Jonathan y de ahí igual a la vez como... En un pequeño, podemos platicar de, de alguna vacación de alguien para, por ejemplo, como si estamos hablando de una reunión de, de trabajo, ah, como ah. un incentivo puede ser, digo yo, se me ocurre un incentivo por alguna meta y que alguien que supongamos que ya haya ganado como ese premio y que nos cuente un poco de, de alguna vacación. Mm. Y ahí, no sé, puede ir a ver parte de lo que dijo el otro compañero del zoológico y, y que fue la, la familia, etcétera, mezclar. algo así. Uh -huh. Bueno, entonces Yo, sí, veamos como, como reunión de trabajo, pero hablando de, de, 
cabal como de alguna experiencia que hayamos tenido como vacaciones que nos hayan dado de parte de la empresa, digamos, que hayamos Ajá. disfrutado algún, algún viaje, algo así. Cabal. Cada quien cuenta algo. Sí, también me parece, Sí. sí. Ajá. O sea, igual ahí como ya sabemos dando las indicaciones de lo que, lo que se proyecta, lo que se espera, o el agradecimiento a todos los colaboradores y, y con la misma, eh, dándoles el incentivo para que continúen y alguien que, que hable sobre el, alguna experiencia vivida en eso. Digamos, no sé qué piensan los demás. Yo estaría de acuerdo, eh, Sí, me porque parece. igual al, al contar así una experiencia podemos ir diciendo cada día de la semana que hicimos. ¿no? Ajá, porque... Y dependiendo de la actividad que hayamos hecho, podemos agregarle los efectos especiales o los sonidos. Ajá, correcto, correcto. Sí, si Y al usted, final... bueno, no sé si, si eh, menciona en zoológico y, y si podemos mezclar todo. En Ajá. la reunión, todos somos O sea... empleados de un zoológico, nos organizamos para ver eh, qué, se, qué hacemos cada quien durante la semana, en qué área estamos Ah, dentro. ¿Por también. qué, ¿por qué Sí, no, también. perdón, por qué no Ajá. hacemos esto? ¿Por qué no Es que... nos expresamos como que cada persona quisiera ir a un lado diferente cada Ajá. día, verdad? Y al Ajá. final optamos todos por ir al zoológico. Entonces Ella sería sería como como una de... reunión de amigos, un reencuentro, Ajá, una organización sería reunión para de amigos, no, no de trabajo. No de trabajo, pero Okay. sí se, se, se podría decir así, va. Ah, Ajá. que yo le llamé a fulano porque quería, que tenía ganas de ir a pasear, por decirlo así. Va y el, O sea, yo, yo el quería fulano. ir al cine, usted quería ir al, 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 al parque, el otro quería ir a jugar, algo así, y después nos reunimos todos mejor en el zoológico, algo así. Ajá, y después quedamos, ah, ok, mejor todos en el zoológico y ya. Ajá. ¿Y qué les parece? Sí, vaya, digamos, somos en el grupo, somos seis o siete. Siete. Seis. Siete. Serían los siete días de la semana. ¿Qué tal si consultamos qué, qué le parece a, al grupo que vayamos el lunes? Alguien dice, el lunes no puedo porque hago esto. O le preguntamos a alguien más, tampoco puedo el martes porque hago esto. Al final Cabal, vamos ahí al domingo. podemos ocupar el ton o el ton nido. Cabal, ahí podemos ocupar el... ¿Qué les parece? Ya nos queda casi un minuto. Hagamos así entonces, escribimos algo y mañana nos, nos ponemos ahí, afinamos Entonces, más el detalle. sería reunión de amigos. La Sí, otra sí, que no de trabajo. ¿Cómo no? De trabajo. La otra Es que de trabajo. podemos reunirnos como amigos, pero como todos trabajamos durante la semana, podemos decir, yo no puedo tal día porque trabajo. Ah. No sé qué les parece. O sea, ajá, reunión de amigos. Bueno, Cabal. afinemos, afinemos ideas durante el, el mañana y las agrupamos ya Mañana al final. las agrupamos, Las la cabal. propuestas, Mañana las propuestas las ya mañana. Ya tenemos las ideas y solo Ah, cabal. nos va a faltar concretar Mañana para las ir. concretamos. Uh -huh. Ah, para ir aterrizando ya, cabal. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Bueno, Ok. ok, pues. Entonces, ya tenemos una base, Vale. así que... No Ah. se nos olviden quienes están en el grupo. No, Eh, ya... somos a la dos, grupo dos a la dos. Ok. A ver si activity. A ver si... Miren, este, he estado observando su trabajo y, este, bueno, las ideas ya surgieron, ¿verdad? Y ahí ya solo falta que, pues, coordinen, que empiecen a crear esa historia y que nos sorprendan el día viernes, ¿verdad? Eh, algo que también estaba pensando que podrían, no sé si alguna vez han trabajado documento Word compartido en Drive, Si lo pueden hacer, pues este, háganlo porque es de mucho provecho. Todos, todos pueden tener acceso a ese documento y editarlo, y trabajarlo a modo de, de ir avanzando, ¿verdad? Este, ¿Qué otra cosa les iba a decir? Bueno, es para el viernes. La meta es día viernes, ¿verdad? Yo veo que las ideas ya están. Ya el día de mañana prácticamente... traerían este, oraciones y ide ideas en inglés, cómo ir formando la historia, a modo que pues lo demos por, 
por terminado el día viernes. No sé si hay alguna pregunta. Los PDF que estaba pasando los podría mandar la, a... Ok, yo se la comparto, Michael. Ok. ¿No questions? No questions. Ok, no se preocupen por la asistencia, ya, ya revisé, ya chequeé. Y miren que este grupo lleva un récord genial. Raras veces falta alguien en este grupo. La verdad que lo felicito. Solo cuando llueve. Solo cuando llueve o cuando... Uh -huh. cuando... Sí, sí, las lluvias acá son, bueno, no se imaginan cómo. Ah, pero miren, cuando suceda en eso, este, escriban en el WhatsApp de que por qué no se han conectado hoy. Eh, Aníbal, ¿any question, Aníbal? Pregunta es, porque yo ya había hecho todas las, o sea, después de cada clase hago la, 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 la plataforma y no entiendo por qué me parece que, que, no, que no había hecho la, como desde el comienzo. Fíjense que eso estaba verificando y ahí tengo el dato de, quiero ver, son cinco personas, creo que son, permítanme, son cinco personas que no han, no han hecho el midterm, o aparece que no lo han hecho. Le... Sí, perdón, este, es que yo lo hago en el teléfono y lo hago en la compu, Ajá. Y, o, o será esa la confusión de la, de, de la plataforma. Pues sí, la verdad que este, quiero ver a Aníbal, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes. Aníbal, Aníbal. Porque por eso me extrañó que usted me mandó un mensaje que, que, que hice la, la, la plataforma. Sí, es la... Es, lo, miren, la, las actividades de la semana pasada todas están completas. La verdad que vamos cabalitos, pero en el midterm eh, tengo algunos participantes que no aparecen con las actividades de, de, del examen. Lo voy a mencionar porque este, yo sé que a lo mejor pues, a, a, hay algún problema de técnico y sí lo han hecho, pero este, quizás no quedó guardado. Tengo el caso de Claudia, de Michael, de Noé, de Oscar Antonio y de Teresa. ¿Okay? De ahí los demás, todo está... Uh, hay tres personas que lo tienen al 75%, dos personas. Y ya de ahí todos lo tienen al 100%. Yo hoy sí ya me puse ya al, al día. Sí. sí. Con la... Profe, sí. <risa> Profe y ahí este, me parece solo que me falta lo del viernes. Sí, solo la del midterm, el examen, Michael. Profe, pero yo la, yo la hice, ahorita la estaba mandando una captura. Que a mí se me aparece que sí la tengo realizada en el de WhatsApp. Vaya, entonces hagamos una cosa. Voy a esperar, a lo mejor la, la plataforma no ha actualizado. Y yo mañana les, les, les verifico o les pongo un mensajito por ahí, oye. Sí, porque el viernes lo hice, bueno, dos veces, lo envié dos veces para ver si, si era el problema de eso, pero lo vamos a hacer otra vez. Va, de acuerdo. <risa> Bueno, los, nos quedamos por acá. Nos vemos mañana. So be ready. So have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Good night.